And welcome back, everybody, to the 2024 Derby City Classic and Railbirds TV. I am your host, Scott Frost, and I will be bringing you all the goods for this match. This is round number one, and as you see on your screen, we've got Joshua Filler versus the great Roland Garcia, or vice versa. Lag for the break, alternate the break following. Each opponent has a designated pocket. The first to make eight of any balls wins that game. Any foul will cost you a ball. Three foul rule is in effect. I think this is a pretty brutal draw for round one. I would assume you guys feel the same way. Joshua Filler wins the lag. I can promise there will be fireworks in this match. Both of these players play extremely aggressive. Both players know the game quite well. Also, little disclaimer, this is the only angle I have. It seems to work excellent, but at times I can be a slight bit misled. He caught the kiss off the second or corner ball. Didn't get the cue ball where he wanted it. Looks to me like Roland can see the five and the 13. So he's got a couple choices here. What he would like to do. The obvious shot is to play the five towards the 12. And stun your cue ball up, you know, behind the 13. But the problem is the two is looming. So if your cue ball ends up in that gap of the 7 and 13, Josh can get at the 2. And I don't know if the 4 is wired to Josh's pocket, but if it is, then you better find a different spot to end that cue ball. So I like what he's looking at here. He's looking at banking the 5 into the bottom of the 12, sending everything his way, but the 12 going into the 4. Very, very clever here. Oh, yeah. I liked what he did. I just don't like the end result. A little brutal that that ball came all the way back. Filler already after the first inning in game number one. Going to be off to the races. And this is one man you don't really want at the table. like to get into that 10 ball somehow to open the 7 up whether he can get thin enough on the 13 with the 5 I'm not certain so now maybe he has to go to the 11 if he can find that gap he can get to the 7 He's caught the 10. That'll be okay for now. He's still got work to do. Playing for four. Going to get his extension. Trying to figure out what really goes next. He might try to rub the 11 here. Yeah, nothing really good come out of that he just tried to wiggle something open does anything bank to Roland's pocket he could bank the 4 here I don't think the 11 banks to Roland's pocket he could bank the 4 if he doesn't have anything real good it's facing him Yeah, he's looking at the four now. The only reason I say that is if he hits it with the proper speed and keeps it close to his pocket, just draws the cue ball back away from the nine, he should be in a good position. I just don't know if you can draw the cue ball and keep the four around the pocket with proper speed.
All right, let's see what kind of speed he hits this with. He might just draw the cue ball all the way back. Yeah, that's what he's done. I don't know. I'm a little surprised at that. I guess he was afraid of something. Maybe the eight. If he leaves the cue ball flat with the nine. Neither here nor there. Filler leads four balls to zero in game number one. The man at the table... I would say knows the game a little bit better than Filler. Obviously, his shooting ability isn't quite as good as Filler's, but it is really up there. Yeah, look at this clever play. That's a play right there that I teach in my clinics. Most people will just try and creep that cue ball to the stack. Great players will hit it with pace and open something up on their side at the same time. And this is going to prove costly. Yeah, he's got a cross corner here, and he can manipulate the kiss because he's so close to the two. So looking to see what plays next. Yeah, you can hit this with a top inside ball. I expect him to get this down. Might play the 15-6 next. If he can stay shallow enough, he can cut the 14. Well, he's gotten a nice rub. Not thrilled with the way they lay, but good news is the 11 is going to stop the cue ball on this combination. If he can get it down, it opens everything up and he can win the game. Problem is the 15 is going away in the direction he'd like. He's really got to cut this ball. Big shot coming up for Garcia. Problem is he doesn't want to hit it too soft because the 15 will end up straight in for filler. So he's got to hit it with some speed. He's hit it really sweet. Really sweet. Notice where the 15 ended up. Filler didn't have anything automatic. This opens everything up. So a big mistake leaving Garcia the cross corner on the two. Garcia playing for six, and they are there. I feel like that got away from him a little bit more than he liked. Typically want to stay closer to these balls. Just don't want to end up on the rail somehow. Yeah, did great there. Playing for four. for three. One rail out to the eight, like an angle to get to the 11. He can obviously take the bank if he gets flat. Probably the right decision. Just want to roll that bank in. He might hit it with speed, but if you roll it in and hang it up, filler's dead due to where the 11 is. So I think you just want to roll this. 
to your pocket in case you miss it. But he might hit it with speed. He's very aggressive. Just saying, if he hangs it up, Filler's dead. And he did roll it. Oh, and he's hit it short. It's the only way you could miss the ball. Filler still has life, and these balls are all in position to get if he can get the first one down. Possibly looking at the two railer on the 11, but I believe the four is going to intercept that ball. Might not be time to be too aggressive yet. You could bank the 15 three rails up towards the one and just stick your cue ball right there and make Garcia come off the bottom rail. I just don't think you can force the issue here. Filler's known to prove us all wrong. It just doesn't look natural to me. And if it's not natural, you don't want to force it. Yeah, I like banking the 15, one, two, three, and just sticking him to the bottom rail there. Garcia might take a swing at the four and just wrap the cue ball one, two, three. A little dangerous, but I mean, keeping filler off of anything offensive, playing something safe isn't easy either. Uh, he's hit it quite well. What's it going to do? Yeah, he's hit it really, really well. Filler are going to follow this in or try to follow this in. Nice hit. Not easy from that angle to do that. So not out of this game by any means, even though Garcia can probably cut the 11. Doesn't necessarily look free. If he can miss the one, though, a heavy favorite. There are several defensive options. But it's really tough for him to turn this down with ball in hand. He's thinking to himself he's a favorite to make the ball. And I think he's a favorite to make the ball. But not if you hit it like that. He got fortunate that the 11 didn't catch the four or it's probably curtains for Garcia and he's gotten fortunate the way it ended up I mean he didn't even get that close he's two railed it out of his hole tells you how uncomfortable he was with the shot the defensive play was probably where it's at he will be playing defense here Bank the 11 back up towards where the cue ball is now or maybe towards the chalk on this top or lower left end. Just lay the cue ball flat with the 15. Jeez. Very dangerous opening those balls up with this man at the table. He's gotten away with it again. Filler can't see the 11, or he could consider shooting it.
Yeah, good try. Trying to bury him under the 15. These races to three. They will keep pressure on you. Playing on four and a half inch diamonds with brand new cloth. Pretty forgiving pockets. So you better make the most of it when you get the opportunity. It's okay, but you really got to get in behind the one. Filler can two rail the seven. It looks good. This is the danger of Joshua Filler. Let's see how smooth he hits this ball. Cutting the one, drifting down for the 15. Uh, he just caught it a fraction thick. He got a little flatter than he wanted on the 15 as well. So, in my opinion... Garcia has escaped again. Well, he was trying to leave the cue ball closer to the hole. I expect Filler to remain aggressive. He executes so well. The only concern is he's got to protect against the 15, so he's got to check this ball up with an inside English. Yeah, that's not going to work. That will not work. Garcia with a cross corner. You can use a right ball here to avoid the kiss. Oh, and he's hit it sweet. So this is the second event of three. Pockets and rails have gotten a little play. The first event is the bank pool. The second event is the one pocket. Final event is the nine ball. So the cloth... Knew when it started. Has a little bit of play, so the ball's holding up a little bit more. Garcia being funny. Acting like he's going to shoot four. Is he considering cutting the 15? That can go all types of wrong because you don't want to catch the 11 coming out. It might be safer for railing the 15. That's dangerous as well due to the position of the four. Wow. What is going on here? He didn't have to be aggressive. He can lose the game from this point. Filler needs them all. Yeah. And this man will torture you if you continue to give him the opportunities. That'll work. Anywhere on this top rail or left rail to cut the four. Oh, he's just come back and forth and cinched the ball, taking the bank. Like I said, he's pretty seasoned at the game at this point. Playing for one. Oh, Garcia has to feel like a million dollars avoiding that. But he's got all the heat on him now. He's got a cross corner, but he's got to catch it real thin. You want to use a left ball here or an inside English to avoid this kiss. I am shocked that he didn't play the cross corner. And it is January. Christmas has passed. 
but a little late present for Filler. This production is brought to you in part by Bad Boys Billiards Production. Thank you so much for your cooperation. Pretty interesting game there. You could say that Garcia handed that to Filler on a platter. He'll take it. Oh, and he's caught the corner ball. Filler immediately acting like he can't make the 11. And that is fortunate for Garcia. So Garcia living on the edge, big time. Is Josh looking to slam the pack with 10 and go up in the top left corner using the two and 13 as the double up? Smashing everything to your pocket. Really got to get that cue ball up there in the top left corner if you're going to shoot this shot. He's looking at the double up. I'd be concerned about leaving the nine for Garcia. That's why I say you've really got to get the cue ball up there. So you're going to have to cut the 10 some. Almost like the 10 is going into the one. Yeah, really, really wild. Pretty good cue ball. Like to have gotten something more over to his pocket. Didn't get near the motion on the object balls that he was hoping for. Tough for Garcia to shoot at the nine here due to the path the cue ball will take. Pushing everything over to Garcia's side. You can shoot the six and almost just stop there using the nine to cover up on the 15 and go forward and use the wall that you have too. This is nice. Very nice control. Used a high left ball there. Filter possibly coming off the bottom of the 14. Two around the 14 to his side and stun the cue ball below the eight off that top rail. Can't tell if he's cut off from doing that. Okay, he's coming off the 15. Not terrible. <laughs> Trying to see what he might have here. The obvious is maybe getting up into the 14 here down in the lower left. But you don't want to lose your position, and that's why he's looking over here. If he could somehow get down below the six and three that's ideal but I don't think anything offers that yeah so he's going up into the 14 oh and that little rub there helped him Josh Tickey behind the 13 with a high cue ball. Meaning kick softly behind the 13. It's tight. Yeah, that was too tough. Going directly into that ball is a problem. Very, very tough to keep that line where the cue ball goes right through it. 
you're afraid that you're going to scratch following through it. So your tendency is to hit it a little thin. That's what's happened there. Here we are again with Garcia at an open table. It looks like the 6-3-12-1 actually play if you get good on the 6. No, he doesn't want to run into the 10. Did he get away with it? He was apologizing before he needed to apologize. I don't know if he can make the 9. So coming up two rails versus one there. Very dangerous because you can catch the 10. Now this is obviously extremely close. Is he entertaining the cut on the 10? You know, when these guys get into this offensive mode, they completely forget that they can play another defensive shot that might gain their position to get back in an opportunity to win the game. And all I'm saying about that is if you, this ball is that tough, there's a possibility of like, two railing the three out and stitching him below the six. I mean, excuse me, two railing the 11 out and stitching him below the three and six. And instead, he's thinking all out aggression here. I don't mind it if he knows he can make it. Well, it's kind of worked. But the minute you start getting out of line, funny things start to happen. I would not have a problem leaving filler the 15, just draw back to the three here or go into the three. Yeah, just like this. Got him cut off, you know, from everything here. That's why I mentioned a 15 for filler. I don't believe it's the shot. Boy, if you roll the 14 in. Okay, I like it. A two-row kick just to get out of trouble for the moment. Pretty wise play. Recognizes the ball count. Garcia only has three. Garcia going to the nine. Would like to put him right back where he was against the three. Oh, you got a clip on the one, which I think helped him tremendously. The seven is too railable. He can shoot it two rails. I don't know that it's makeable just because of it being so straight, so far out towards the center of the table. He could go forward, though, two railing the seven and leave him doubled up on the two nine. Yeah, the 15's got you covered there. Can you cut the seven towards the five? Swing the cue ball one rail below the three.
very aggressive. I think he's playing the two rail first to the nine. Filler has a bank on the 15. So once again, instead of containing Filler, you're giving him these opportunities. And he almost made that ball very close, very good hit. Like to have got it down, he would have done some serious damage. At this point, I think you have to be pretty smart. You don't want to just slam this 15 into the balls. You could easily leave a cross corner. Have a purpose here. Does look to me like if you bank the 15 to the 3, the 12 could get close to making the 9, or at least get close to your hole. I think that's the shot. Just a medium pace. The six and four shouldn't move if you catch the three full. Yeah, I don't fault him for that. He did leave the 11 again. A straight back for filler if he entertains it. The two railer is even better. Uh, he didn't hold it. Really had to catch it deep up in that corner. What is this? Yeah, Garcia is an extremely aggressive player, but he knows the game quite well. It seems like these guys just always want to lean towards the offensive even when it's not quite there I guess that's why I'm doing what I'm doing and commentating I just want to expose whether this works or not I don't know that it's the play with the seven looming you can kick the seven yeah this is just wild to me you could just kick the seven with speed or however you want instead you go back a ball, leave him straight in. It really is Christmas time for filler in January. Filler owed one. So now he has one to the good. He wanted to get on the four. I think he slid too far. Once again, if the offensive play isn't there, don't force it. He's looking at moving the nine. I think you can move the nine with a high ball and just keep the high ball there. I know it's going to be tough to reach, though. Let's see if he can kill this with a high ball. He's just going to use a low ball and go into him. That's dangerous. And look at the two. Has it buttered up? Can Garcia get to the 15? And now he's looking. Oh, if he can, it'd be devastating. Because I believe the two is wired. Just got to get into the three pretty solid. Wow. 
Three rails with the cue ball, banking the 11. Pretty good cue ball. I would consider coming off the 13 and put him behind the two. Uh, if you can do that, it's even better. Very clever. Extremely high pool IQ, Joshua Filler. got to bank the 11 towards your pocket here and just keep him on the rail. Don't sell out the 9. Just keep him on this left top rail. You're not necessarily trying to make it. Just want to get him on the rail. Make the 11 a threat to your pocket. Make him defend on it. He doesn't like it. And I don't blame him. But he's put himself in this position. Yeah, he was so afraid of selling the 15 or 13 out that he overcut the 11 by some distance. Josh going to come off the 13 here. Things are going to get worse for Garcia. Well, I was going to say things are going to get worse for Garcia. I thought he would just come off the ball thick and stitch him up under the two and move some balls in front of his pocket. He caught it way too thin. I do not believe he played the combination. Uh, if you're playing it that thin, you're going to lose the cue ball. I think he just caught it too thin. What is Garcia looking to do? Is he looking at the 611? You can three rail the 13 and stick him under the three. You could probably play the one two. Better, I like that more than the six one. What I mean by that is you could use the three caroming into the one two combination. Looks pretty good. If you're going to be aggressive, just because those two are closer, I think it's probably a higher percentage. See what he's got in mind. Oh, nice. He saw it. I didn't see it. The five off the two. He didn't come up with anything sweet. Pretty clean shot. Played the combination. Karam, take another look. Yeah, the five right off the two. Really well controlled with the cue ball as well. If the two comes up just a bit higher, I think he's good. He can cut the one. Yeah, you could play the four off the two again here. But I don't know what type of value that has. It's very dangerous due to where the 13 is. off the two possibly shooting into the three it's okay if you can snatch back or draw back below the 13 just kind of over here by the chalk a little below the chalk on the right Let's see what he's got in mind again 
Oh, boy. Crazy. He played the four with speed. And once again, <laughs> gets himself in positions and just stays too aggressive, in my opinion. Roland and I have discussed this in the past. We're pretty good friends. Josh and I as well. I don't have to talk to Josh much about his decision making. It's typically about as good as it gets. Roland is just extremely aggressive and has a real good IQ of the game. Filler playing for seven. And in my opinion, to steal another game, he's lost his chalk. There goes $30. All right. So what does he want to go into here? The six, maybe? Or do you just go forward? Can you go forward between the three and 12? I think you've got to draw over to the six. Yeah, that's the only concern about it. He's got a little mess he's got to deal with now. Can he punch down just past the 12? One rail up into the two, or even better, up into the six? Or is he too straight here? Maybe draw into the two. Depends on what he's got. I can't tell the angle. Yeah, so that's what he tried. Tried to punch down and graze those balls. Overdrew the ball. Gonna butter him up behind the 11 here. Not very nice of you, Josh Filler. And how did the 11-6 finish? Can he kick that in from anywhere? So this could be trouble for Garcia but he's fortunate to be at the table. All depends on what the 11 and 6 are doing here. If they aren't wired to Josh's hole, I would consider taking a foul. Really touchy coming off those balls. Problem is, you're going to move more to Josh's side as well. What is he doing? Two railing the nine and swinging the cue ball? That's close. Josh can definitely cut the two. Whether he chooses to or not is another thing. Oh, this looks good. It must not be on. I think the six is a bit low. Going at the nine, bringing the cue ball back. So he just played to cinch that. He's caught it short. A little surprised at the cue ball there. He's got to avoid this kiss. Uh, he 
he's really, really dug into it to avoid it. He's hit it real well. He's not happy with it, but it's not terrible. I understand why he's not happy with it. The future was there. He could make the 11 from there, I believe. He could cut the ball. It was real tough to miss the kiss. He had to dig into it real tight, big inside ball. So he did well. Filler go real first and just make the seven. Yeah. That's why Roland wasn't extremely thrilled about the result. See, looking at the 15 again. I guess I say again because he just stays so aggressive. But it does benefit him a lot of the time. It's his forte, but it's also his downfall. The key to this game is knowing when to pull back the reins and when to let them go. We are tied up at five balls apiece. The first person to make three this game will win the game. What is he looking at here? I wouldn't be completely against rolling the 14 in and just leaving him up in the corner. Really puts pressure on Josh. I'm not saying that's the shot, but it's a possibility. Is he looking to two rail this ball into the bottom of the six? So flat, you could sell the nine out so easily. Or a bank. Yeah. Actually hit it really good. He banked it off this bottom point. Pretty impressive shot. It seems so aggressive to me. Is the nine bankable? It almost looks like he could twist the nine. At worst, go forward. Leave him on the top rail and twist the nine in. And then reevaluate. Yeah, that's what he's looking at now. He didn't really go forward like he wanted. He needs this to fall. You got to get that cue ball up. I think that Roland might be able to spin the 11 in from there. It's close. But if you get the cue ball up on the top rail, he's never shooting the 11. Yeah. Big error from Filler, I think. Oh, he has overcut it. Looks like he went into the six first. We might want to take another look at that as soon as this is over. It isn't going to take long. Phil are going to clean up the mess. Two balls away from a two to nothing lead. Merry Christmas. Yeah, I wonder if we can take another look at this. It looks like he went into the six first. Really, really heavy. I thought you could catch the 11 first. Yeah, he did go into the six first with outside English, and that twisted the 11 ball up. You've got to go into the 11 just to catch the 11 first with the outside English, and the ball is makeable. So, yeah, big mistake by Garcia. You know he's feeling the pain. Well, everybody's kissed this corner ball from here so far and it's happened again and I don't have much to lose I'm 48 years old and I teach at my clinics so when the table's playing like this 
you want to get that cue ball more out towards the center at least another two or three cue balls you put less impact on the second ball which in turn takes the energy off the corner ball and you can avoid the kiss much better Roland cannot be thrilled with the results as of right now. Is he looking to come off of the 6 and stitch him below the 12 and 11? Really flat here. Yeah, 12 and below the 12 and 13, excuse me. He's done great. He's got the 7 over. I feel like he, if he would have done a little bit more of that type of stuff in the last two games, when he had the leads, he could have done a lot more damage. Watch out. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Not easy to do there. No future in shooting the seven. Really well done. And he has this part of his game in him. He just doesn't exactly know when to hold back the reins because he's so good at the aggressive end of it. He moves very well, Garcia. Well, he might shoot the seven from here. I'm not certain. He can get into the cue ball. I don't know that there's any value. You're going to lose your position as well. I don't believe it's the shot. Maybe soft kick to the 12. Just a soft kick to the 12. Keep the position. Filler hates being there. He's had to take a foul twice. But Garcia, he can't stand it. Jeez, look at this stroke. Okay. That is why he likes to stay aggressive. Wow. He created an angle. He's done as good as he could there. He was flat, very flat. What a shot he made on the seven. Wonder if we can get another look at it. It looked to me like he was dead straight in on that seven ball. Any type of a miss hit. We are going to get another look. Look at this. The seven's not frozen, and the cue ball's out. He's dead straight on this ball. So he went rail first, I believe. What a shot this was. Great stroke by Garcia. Well... Why stop now? This is what he does. Looking to cut the nine. He's either going to win quick or lose quick. Very fun player to watch. Yeah, I think his concern is the three. 
he's worried that he might be a bit snookered or close enough to where he could catch the three, maybe not be able to catch the nine thin enough. Looks like he's open to shoot this 12, 11, or the shoot the nine, but he's really hampered with the bridge. I wouldn't be concerned where the cue ball is going here. I think you, if you're going to shoot the nine, you better just give everything you've got into making it. Wow. You've got to believe he played that as well just because of where he was eyeing the cue ball up to end up. Another fascinating shot. So does Garcia need his back against the wall to really start to stand out? And as I say that, he tries to miss the 11. And he's gotten pretty steep on the 15. I don't know that he can come back between the 1 and 3 going forward. Excuse me, between the 1 and 6. If at worst, you can take the bank on the 6. You don't have to try and get back there. You're a heavy favorite to make the bank. And that's what he's going to do. And this will do for now. You can bank the six, go into the 14. The one plays. Playing for three. Filler owes two. That'll get it. That'll get it. Where has he been? the last two games. Where have you been? Like to catch the 10 here, but want to catch it kind of thin so you get a shot on the five. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Garcia, gonna get on the board. Didn't look so good for a while. Two games to one. Fillers lead. Garcia with the crack. These are our stream sponsors. Hustling Clothing USA. JB Custom Cases. Jerry Olivier Custom Cues. Litman Lights. Last but not least, Locked and Loaded Custom Billiard Apparel. Thank you guys so much for your participation. So let's see if anybody's gone to school on the break. He's a little bit more out. Well, he's still a little bit more out center where he's going to catch less of that second ball. There you go. That's how you miss the corner ball kiss. Corner ball didn't even threaten the cue ball from that angle. Filler faced with a little adversity in game number four. Immediately looking at the 13-1, he could shoot the 13 to the one and swing the cue ball two rails to the top left corner and hopefully sweep something to his side. But the problem is, I believe the 10 passes the 12. So this is a very fine break by Garcia. Very tough to tell what he's got unless you're at the table. Might take a one rail kick behind 12. That's how bad this is. That's what he's doing. Oh, 
he said it with speed. You can scratch at this pace. But not if you're filler. He caught it thick and perfect. What a great play that was. Really, really good hit. Played it that way. Couldn't hit it any better. That changes everything. I was talking about filler's pool IQ. He's got it. He's got it all. Might be forced to go through the 11 here. Very tough to predict what Garcia does. As you can see. But if you go through the 11, just banking the 11 towards the top middle pocket. Just lay the cue ball on this rail down here. Follow the cue ball forward on the 11. Doesn't have much. The 5 is going to cover up the 14. Sometimes the most simple shot can be the most effective. What is he looking at? Okay, he's going to bank the one into the 13. Maybe the 11 goes. The 11 does go. And another magic trick from Roland Garcia. Game number four. And he's off to the races. Let's take another look. The combination carom into the pocket by Garcia. And this is why he is so dangerous. It seems like when he has to play the game the right way, he blunders. But if he stays aggressive, he can win. That's always been his style. Oh, wow. Did he get jammed up here? Unbelievable. Absolutely brutal the way he played that ball. How do you not come away with a shot on the eight? Wow. Can we get another look of that combination? He played to split through those balls. He played to come through here. And the two just gets him. Take a look at this. He plays to split through these balls, right? The three catches, the two, the nine just gets out of the way. The cue ball, otherwise, he's wide open. The 13 did fall in the lower middle. So it will come up. Garcia can't stand it. He says, I want to continue. Cutting at the two. He is close enough to really pick that fine edge off. I believe he's a favorite to make this ball. Not a problem. Filler must be wondering what has hit him. Playing for four. I believe you shoot the three here and just go towards the four. You can't help but get a shot on the eight or 14. And he's going to shoot the six. You just don't want to overhit this. It should be fine. Playing for three. Just punch through the middle of the eight and nine. Softly. Taking a lot of time here. Go towards the four. 
Maybe he's steeper than it looks. Four passes. Playing for two. And another awesome run. Going to the eight. And Filler gives it up. And we wouldn't have it any other way. Two games apiece, Filler's break. One game for all the money. And these are our event sponsors. Without you guys, we couldn't do it. Diamond Billiard Products, Ian Simonis and Simonis Cloth, Aramith Billiard Balls, Outsville Accurac, AccuStats Video Productions, and last but not least, Masters Billiard Chalk. Thank you so much. Filler to break. Notice the cue ball out towards the center more. Who he did get the kiss on the six, but not as bad. And that's going to save him a scratch. So when it started looking really, really dark for Garcia, comes with a few magic tricks and really puts it on Joshua Filler. And in my opinion, the games that Filler won, he didn't necessarily earn. It was all Garcia's undoing to help Filler. Clipping off the top of the two, going into the 10 with speed here. Very aggressive. Okay, he could see those balls. What a clearance. Very good clearance there. Changes a lot of things. Can't see the six. I don't know if he can bank the four and hold him up in that pile. I don't think it's available. Too steep. He's close to the one. Can you do something with the cue ball? He's taking a look. Oh, that was nice. Really nice. Look at the cue ball. Wow. Both players really coming with it now. I think there's a problem shooting the five into the one and bringing the cue ball into the 15 and eight. Yeah, just like so. A little firm. Yeah, a little firm there. Want to hit it a little easier. Filler might be able to shoot the 7 off the 3 and stick on the 15. Just doesn't want to catch the 11. You could also shoot it and go forward. not want to catch the 11. Yeah, this will be all right. Is he shooting the 8-15 combination going behind the 7? Does the 7 miss? Or excuse me, does the 15 miss the 7? It's close. I don't know. Gonna have to cut the eight just a little. It's a winning shot. It looks like it lays okay to go forward. You might catch a kiss though. Can soft kick the seven.
Yeah, I mean, that's not terrible. Filler can bank the two, <laughs> but it's not free. Interesting. He's put him in a pretty tricky position here. Looking up here now, telling me that he can get to the three. Telling us that he can get to the three. Shooting the three, going forward, takes a very accurate hit. Yeah, this is the same issue he had earlier on a believe the 13 ball if you hit it a little off either way you catch the point or you lose the cue ball one of the two Garcia going to cut this three? He'd also probably cut the nine. He's covered on the seven. I am certain there's a few defensive plays. He could probably just chip the three and come below the two. The whole deal is, if you're going to go aggressive, really can't worry about the cue ball. You're going to leave filler something if you're cutting at the nine or the 11. So if you go to either one of those, you really have to put all of your focus into making that ball. Been a great match so far. I hope you guys have enjoyed it as much as I have. Okay, it looks to me like he's going at the nine. And he's overcut it. I can't fault him for shooting at that ball. Did he get away with it and elevate filler over the one? He did. I couldn't fault Roland for shooting at that ball. The defensive play was almost as difficult as the offensive play. He could have got several from there. Had the 12 next. Filler has a cross on the nine. Go up towards the three. Both players doing everything they can to get that first ball down. That was one that Filler should have made. His problem here is the blue two. You have to defend against the two as well. You might be better off just making this for him. Okay, I like it. Now he's thinking. Very smart shot. <coughs> the 
the reason that was so valuable is you can't take a chance of double kissing or kicking and sticking but drawing the cue ball back a little too much and leaving filler the two this is the part of the game that Roland can play that's why I feel like these two are matched up a lot closer than people might think Wow. They're going to go up table here, I believe. Not a single ball on the table. Close to another one. Almost looks like a drill, the way these are set up. Can he twist the 15? Is it time? Can just... Bank the seven over to your side and draw down to the rail. I just don't know. This is where his patience can get the best of him. You're really going to try and do this after all that work getting out of his break. Buckle your seat belts. And once again, I'm just so surprised at his decisions when the percentages aren't in his favor to play the offensive shot. I didn't feel like that was a straightforward play. You had to do a lot with the object ball. You're protecting the cue ball, and everything is wide open. Oh, and Filler clips the top of the 11. Once again, there's a real good safe shot here. Just bank the 11 up and stun the cue ball forward to the bottom rail. But he's trying to find something else again. Now he is looking at the three. I'm just trying to get the value of it. So if you bank the three and stun over to the eight, you leave yourself doubled up on the four or leave yourself a super long tester. But you take a chance of selling out. See what happens. He's made the three. <laughs> Does he have a shot? I felt like he was doubling himself up there. I believe he can make the two. At worst, maybe spin into the back of the 15. Can he make the 12 or the 13? Looks like he's going at the 13, possibly. All right. Oh, my. So this is all a result of banking the three. You knew the four was a huge ball. You're taking a chance at that long-distance bank to begin with. Everything is open. Filler. A bit more seasoned. Look at this. It's two railing the two. And he's playing all cue ball. Like I said, he is a bit more seasoned. And we can go back. This trouble has started because of two aggressive shots in a row. 
by Garcia. One that he got away with, and then he continued the onslaught. Where he had good passive plays, I am just pointing out his options. Now, can you get to the six and leave him doubled up on something? I don't know if the seven goes clean. If you could just roll to the six, you might be okay. The seven goes clean. Is he kicking to the two? The 12, excuse me, or to the 15? Softly? Dangerous. Very tough to judge. Better off to kick up to the eight and possibly take a foul. One ball apiece, two games apiece in game five. I just don't understand what's going to happen there. He's trying to hit it softer. Filler going to do some damage. Yeah, he's going to do some real damage. Garcia will be fortunate to get back to the table from here. Playing for six. Josh went to the extension to a little longer one. Taking his time. And this is the seasoning of Josh Filler. He takes his time, knows the important situation. Although this is first round, this match is massive. Miller won the bank pool. So he would love an opportunity at the all around. Carried his angle. Uh oh. You could have always banked the 13. Not going to be happy with that. You had to clear the 10. He did not. He ran into the face of it. He's going to have to bank this away. Well, we know Garcia is going to bank at this ball. Miller playing for three. Garcia, seven. And here he goes, trying to get some type of position out of this where I feel like you need to just cinch the bank. That's what he's doing. Just short. He was worried about that cue ball being center there for the four next. Cross corner. Oh, he's 
showing us his intelligence. He's kicking it out. He knows if he waits long enough, he's going to get an opportunity filler. Nice shot by Garcia. So a little bit of cat and mouse here. These balls will be removed. Nice cue ball. Very, very good touch. This makes things very difficult for Garcia. You're only four balls down. It's Hill Hill still. You don't have to press the issue yet. Wait for something. Maybe you'll get it. Just keep your opponent off the shot. Are you trying to bank this ball between the 5 and 4? Between the 13 and 14? to go into the six it's not bad ended up okay Stunned his cue ball down, played a nice cue ball. You typically don't get away with that if you hit the bank short the way he did. Sometimes it'll double out like that and come up. But, that being said, these balls are in a better position for Garcia. Can he just two rail the six, maybe towards the four, and just easy? forward to the top rail where that chalk is. Kind of leave him flat on the 13. Not hitting it hard. You're not trying to make the six. You're just floating the cue ball forward. Does he have the one? Boy. It was not there. What's the one going to do? Wow. At the last minute, the one comes around and covers filler on the four and the ten. Well, you say there's no luck in one pocket. Yeah, pretty good. Just to get to that ball was pretty good. Garcia looking to see if the 12 banks. It doesn't, so he'll be forced to move the 13. He's lost the cue ball. Get that cue ball on the rail makes all the difference in the world.
probably just have to bunt the 13 here. I mean, there's other options. Shoot the 14 into the 5 with speed. Just stop your ball. Oh, wow. What a great cue ball. What a great cue ball. And he got a little catch off the 10. looking to bank the 13 cut it he's cutting might get on the 14 here yeah he's just oh undercut it just a bit it was laying perfect if he catches it thin enough he's gonna get on the 14 and he could have gotten back into this game not that he's really out of it pretty good or did it get far enough where he can bank the 13 I think he can bank it he hold the cue ball see where he's putting his cue down there parallel with the six like in that little patch of the four ten and one that's dangerous because you could leave filler a cut on the ten without any trouble you want to hold this cue ball more. Yeah, like that. Still, probably left the 10. If Filler wants to entertain it. Filler is entertaining it. Just thick. Just thick. Looking to kick the 10. Can't really do a lot with the 14 due to the 13. The 5 covers up the bank on the 12. Can you 2 rail the 4? What are you going to do with the cue ball? You've got to move the 10. I don't know. I don't know. I think Filler can hold this. Wanted to get the cue ball down. Another rotation. This is tighter than it looks. But I think he can hold it. Yeah, and he's going to hold it. That's going to get down. Little jab of the body by Filler. Like, get in there. He's playing for two. This is a little mass A shot. You can elevate a little bit and punch through. Like that. I think he can avoid the middle here. If he wants to just draw this ball or go to the 12. 
could also just stay passive. For one, not going to do it. He would have liked to have gotten that down. Garcia looking for a sniff of anything to his hole. It's not there. The 10 is covered up by the 5. 4 is covered up by the 1. The 6, 12, and 8. Well, they're just out of play. And the man does not want to play safe. Is he looking to bank 12 to the top rail behind the six and send them both that way? And that's what he's done. Got to admit, pretty creative, the circumstances. Just sending the six up. And Garcia will shoot at the 12. And most likely go forward. It's actually got an opportunity here. A more realistic opportunity anyway. Got the turn he needed on the ball. He didn't. Filler going to have a cross corner for the W. Oh, it's doubled out. Where did it finish? Caught it a little too thin. It came a fraction long. And look at how quick Garcia gets down with the opposite hand. This is kind of important. You can get a lot of balls here. I believe the four plays, the one plays, ten and five are open. Obviously, the six is a good ball. I've seen crazier things happen. Send it up thinner than it needed to be. Yeah. Caught it too heavy. Filler escapes again. trying to make the 12. The good news for Filler is the 10 finished in a good spot for him. The 8 is out of play. It's not even easy to get position on anything from here. It might look easy. It's not really that easy. I'd like to come up between the 10 and 6 for a shot on the 6 here. Maybe just catch a quarter of this ball. Two rails out towards the center. Yeah, I don't think you want to hit the 10. Just try and get up somewhere for the 6. Ah, he's overspun this. It's going to run right into it. That won't work. 
Caught too much ball. Needed to probably catch about a quarter of the ball there that was in the pocket. So now you need to remove the 10 and just slide back down. Use the 6 as cover for the 8. Just bring them back down towards these two pieces of chalk on this side. Unless you want to continue to press the issue, and I can't fault you there, you need them all. Make 10 in the side and just come up in the top left. Yeah, a little firm. A little firmer than I expected. Filler has options. Wants to bank the five. Almost can't fault him here. You typically don't want to bring him down table unless you have to. Needs one, so he doesn't want to bring them all down back into play. feel like he was shooting at that. Maybe he was. Felt like that was risky. If you're shooting at that ball, you could leave this cross corner. This is steep. Either does or doesn't here. And he is going to hit it short. I thought he made that. Oh. Another bullet dodged. Is he cutting at 10, going into the 6? Coming off the 10, going behind the 6. One of them, I promise. It's the second one. Goodness, he's shooting it to five. Danger, Will Robinson. Yeah, this is a little higher percentage. Just got to bank the six up and hold the cue ball right there where the chalks are. Hit the six with some speed. Unless he thinks he's got something aggressive here. Oh, he can bank the one, one rail for the W. Filler is going to take it down. Pretty fun match to call. I hope everyone enjoyed this. Until next time, I am your host. Do us a favor real quick while I tell you who I am. Like and subscribe, Railbirds TV on YouTube. Hit the notification bell. Thanks again. I am your host, Scott Frost. Talk to you soon.